In this question, we're asked to find dy by dx if y is equal to log of the square root of 2 plus cos squared x. Now I'm going to begin this by rewriting this square root as a power of a half. So this becomes log of 2 plus cos squared x to the power of a half. And now we can use the laws of logs to bring this half in front of the logarithm. So we get a half log of 2 plus cos squared x. Now we need to differentiate this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the chain rule. And what I'm going to do is say let u equal 2 plus cos squared x. And now I need to differentiate that. So du by dx is equal to, well, differentiating the two get zero. And now I need to differentiate cos squared x. Now, if you're not sure how to do this, then we can just write it over here. Cos squared x, we can actually write as cos x multiplied by cos x. And we can apply the product rule. And the product rule says that we write down the first and differentiate second, plus write down the second and differentiate the first. So what we'll actually have is when we differentiate this, we would have write down the first, which would be cos x. Differentiate the second would be negative sine x. So I'll put the negative there and sine x. Plus, and we'd do the same thing again. So write down the second, differentiate the first, would give me the same thing. So what I end up with is negative 2 cos x sine x. So here I'll have negative 2 cos x sine x. So we've started off this chain rule. Now I need to find what y is. So y in terms of u is going to be a half log of u. And dy by du would be equal to, well, when we differentiate log of u, we get 1 over u. So in this case, I would have 1 over 2u because of this half here. So now we find du by dx and dy by du, we can find dy by dx. So let me just split this page up a little bit. And we want dy by dx. So dy by dx is equal to dy by du multiplied by du by dx. So that's the chain rule. dy by du, well that is 1 over 2u. And we have to multiply that by du by dx, which is this thing here. So negative 2 cos x sin x. So obviously we can uh, cancel a few things here. So we can cancel that 2 with that 2. And in the numerator, we've got negative cos x sine x. In the denominator, we've still got this u term. But u is this substitution here, which is 2 plus cos squared x. So 2 plus cos squared x. Now, if you found this lesson useful, please give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe.